प्लीज एक्सप्लेन द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ओके मैग्नीशियम वेरी क्रुशियल न्यूट्रिय वन शुडेंट बी मिसिंग दिस मैग्नीशियम This is involved in more than 300 enzymatic reactions to uh, mature the hormones, and it plays a very you know very important role. Let me explain. We have already studied uh, vitamin D3, right? And I have already explained on YouTube how this vitamin D3 is matured. Before it gets matured, it has its storage form. It has its storage form called 25 hydroxy CC polycalciferol. Right? This reaction is done in liver. Then we have to mature this. We have to mature this in kidney, which is done by alpha one hydroxylase enzyme, right? And then once this enzyme is acted upon, storage form. This is storage form. Vitamin D3 is activated. One twenty-five dihydroxy CCF. This is the active form of vitamin D3, which is ready to uh, mobilize the calcium as well as to remineralize and demineralize the calcium. Right. So to activate this, we need magnesium. To complete the enzymatic reaction, right? So you understood now how it does. Next, what if we are deficient? If we are deficient, as you ask, we want to know the clinical features of the magnesium. The signs and symptoms patients may experience. High blood pressure. Patient may experience heart palpitation. Patient may experience anxiety or stress. Right? Patient may experience fatigue. Patients may experience muscle cramping, which is during sleep. Patient may experience constipation. Right. So these are some clinical features which may be experienced by patient. Right. But how much magnesium a patient should intake? Two hundred mg to four hundred mg. Some may go above four hundred. Fine, but this is uh, stored in our body, right? So we do not worry about the magnesium. It has a uh, thousand hours life, so thousand hours life. So you don't have to worry about, it, right? Now, it is available in different form. It is available in different form. Let's take first magnesium aspartate. Now. Magnesium is basically uh, relaxant, muscle relaxant, right? 
you know, the glycine. But aspartate is excitatory. Neuro, neuro excitatory. So this combination is going to create some contradiction, right? This can be uh, opposite to each other. One is playing role of relaxant and other is playing role of excitatory. So this is uh, somewhere creating pull and push like situation. Then let's understand next one. Magnesium citrate. Citrate, right? This citrate is good for the patients who have constipation. Who have constipation. So it is good for constipation clients right for constipation <clears throat> then magnesium glycinate very crucial magnesium glycinate is very crucial because this is precursor for GABA this is GABA and these GABAs are inhibitory. These GABAs are inhibitory. Right? Means whenever there is a condition of neural pain or muscle pain or cramping, GABA is given as GABA neuron. Right? GABA peptin mm. is known as GABA peptin. So this can be utilized for relaxant. Used as relaxant by medical professionals. Right? Now. Magnesium. This is also uh, given for the atrial relaxation. Whenever there is atrial uh, fibrillation takes place, this is one of the best doctor can suggest. Right? Then magnesium sulfate also good for atrial uh, relaxation whenever there is fibrillation like condition and magnesium chloride now chloride is basically your stomach acid okay so hydrochloride right so this can be playing role for the stomach acid so this can be given as a combo medical medication which is available uh, in medical stores or you can ask a doctor to suggest the best out of it right i hope i have simplified the magnesium thank you very much